There were no traffic lights in those days, so there were always policemen on point duty at each of the corners, and I got to know them. And they'd all wave to me and say hi as we'd go past. My brother was often with me if we were going for a walk with the dog. And I'd even walk it through the stores. You know, there were so many department stores in Perth in those days. And I used to love walking through Ahern's and through Moore's, and they, they all ran between Murray Street and Hay Street. And so we'd walk right through and nobody ever minded. There we were with our dog. I was Penelope Ward. I'm always known as Penny. And I, and I'm, I was born in 1938. I was born at Mount Lawley Maternity Hospital, which is now St David's Nursing Home. The building on the corner, which, which is now Miss Maud's, was built in 1911. And 1911 is still up on the, on the top. It's rather nice, because that was the year Mum was born as well, so I always rather like that. And it was just a warehouse, apparently. But it was a warehouse, but in 1926, Grandad and his friend, Mr Derby, bought the property and they turned it into a hotel. And they renovated it substantially and put in, at that stage, apparently 60 bedrooms. By the time I lived there, it was 70 bedrooms, so it was uh, even extended beyond that. And my poor mother, who finished school in 1928, and desperately wanted to go to university and be an architect. My grandfather said, no, you're going to business college. I'd really like you to run the hotel. So in 1929, she moved into the hotel at the age of 19 and took it over and made a huge success of it. Well, when I was born, mum and dad had an apartment in Adelaide Terrace. And as I said, it was 1938 and mum was already working at the Durwood or running the Durwood and dad was a sales salesman of, of some sort at that stage. I'm not quite sure who he worked for right then. When the war broke out and all of a sudden life was a lot more complicated at the Durwood for mum and she had to deal with, I don't know immediately of course with rationing and things like that but, but certainly she certainly had problems finding people to work for her. Some of her staff during the war lived at the hotel, some of the waitresses and people like that, and they would go off in the, in the night with these American sailors. So those sorts of things I remember her being conscious of. But the war also affected her because once rationing started, she really didn't have enough ration tickets she would, people who came to stay would bring their own ration tickets with them. And I have somewhere and I couldn't find it, but I have a, ra a book where she wrote in all the people who were staying there at a particular time and how much tea and, and rice and various other butter, things that, that had been restricted and how much they were permitted to have per person. So by the end of the war, by the last year or so, she stopped serving lunch and dinner. She only she made, turned it into just bed and breakfast. And that affected us because all of a sudden we weren't getting lunch or dinner either because we used to eat in the dining room. We discovered that at the back of one of the cupboards there was a window and we could open it and get through it. And we actually used to climb across the roof the roofs of Perth at the back of the hotel and I never ever told mum. And my, my mother, she decided to, to leave the hotel and she sold it to a, a, a man who wanted his son to run it and it was a gift to his son and unfortunately the son was killed in a car accident very soon after that. And so this, it was then on sold to Miss Maud. And Miss Maud has, apart from painting the outside, she has left the exterior very much the same as it was.